okay we're rebuilding this engine it's a so city golf very popular car here in Cape Town South Africa um, we've removed this engine um, I've got it all in pieces on the bench uh, it's just come back from the engineers and um, I'm going to show you how we assemble this engine as you can see the engine's been removed we got it all on the bench as I said earlier and uh, I'm going to show you how to assemble this engine and also how we basically take the engine and put it back into the engine bay. Very simply, no special tools, just a trolley jack and a bit of elbow grease. So hi, this is um, basically the block of the Volkswagen City Golf. It's a little 1300 engine. We are overhauling this engine. So that would mean that we have, um, um, we've basically taken the crankshaft and we've had it uh, measured. Um, it didn't need a cut, it needed a polish. So um, we had the crankshaft polished. Uh, we've got new bearings, which we are going to be fitting. Okay. Um, so the caps, the bearing caps, as you can see are marked. That's number five. That will be the back. That's the front of the engine over there. Okay, so we'll be putting new bearings onto these caps. Um, we'll be putting new bearings onto the, onto the crank side as well. Basically, very simply, um, some of the bearings do not have oil holes. So the oil holes have to be opposite the oil feed holes. So it doesn't really matter uh, where you put the, the bearing, as long as when it comes to the center bearing of the engine, you can see it's a flange bearing. So it has, um, you know, thrust washers built in to the bearing cap. Okay. So we'll just, you can see there's a little no notch. Okay. And there's a little cutaway. So that basically locks the bearing in place so that the bearing doesn't roll around. Um, sometimes it's just necessary to use a rubber mallet and to just sort of give it a little bit of encouragement for it to just sit in the position that it's supposed to, supposed to be in. Always keep a clean rag handy so that you can wipe away any mishaps. Okay. This has got to be probably the cleanest job that you'll ever do. Right. So I'll go ahead and I'll put all these bearing caps on. They are standard by the way, so it hasn't been cut. Okay. Um, the journals hasn't been cut, the main journals. So we'll go ahead and I'll put, I'm just ensuring that, you know, the oil holes line up. Okay. So we'll go ahead and we'll put some oil on there to give it a, a good pre-loop. Okay. Try not to get the oil into the into the thread the thread holes because oil will not compress. Okay, like here. It doesn't compress. Uh, it could give you problems with the uh, talking. Okay. I have cleaned all the journals on this game. Okay, I've wiped them off nice and clean. Okay. Let's put them on nicely. Okay. Okay. Now I'll go ahead <coughs> and put the rest of these bearings onto the, the rest of the caps which we have. As I say, I might just have to use a bit of encouragement on the centre one now. Okay. So we'll go ahead and load up the bearings. As you can see, we don't need to have uh, oil or Okay, because there are no holes on these caps. Caps got, they do actually have no holes. And remember the cutout, um, the cleft and the cutout. Okay, so you actually cannot put these bearings on. Okay, maybe you'll see the sequencing, that's number five, that's number four, that's number three. <coughs> that's number two. And that's number one. As you can notice, this one 
basically has a an oil oil as well. So I don't know, that must have been a mistake with the packaging, but it shouldn't make a difference. Okay. As long as, we take this crank out again, as long as you can see that we've got oil oil on all five of our bearing caps for the block side. Okay. We'll put that down. So now we will take our bearings. We'll do likewise. We'll give it a nice loop and put it on the right way around. Okay. What I normally do is <clears throat> I normally mark on the oil filter side. Okay. On the oil pump, oil filter. I normally put all my marks there so that I know that is how they should go. But if you are a little confused, okay. We'll take a look at, you know, where the cutout and the cliff is. They will both be on the same side for the block and the, and the actual um, cap. Okay, so that's cap number five. As you can see, there's a cliff there. Okay, there's a cliff on that side. And my markings is on that side, so it's correct. Okay, no mistakes. Um, I don't think that it will really make a hell of a difference because Basically, you have um, you, you have this uh, perfect uh, perfect uh, circle. You know these two bearings: the bearing on the on the, on the, on the, the, the in engine block and the bearing on the um, bearing cap. They basically you know, perfect circle. Okay. So these are the hold down bolts. Right? They don't need to be replaced. Um, they are pretty. Bolts. Okay, they're 14 more, which makes it uh, pretty, pretty thick. You don't need to replace them. They are not uh, torque, torque bolts. Okay, so I'll go ahead and I'll turn that down, and we've got to torque it. I'll come back to you and tell you what it has to be torqued down at. Okay, so according to our um, specifications for this particular engine, uh, we're going to be talking at that uh, 65 newton meters the main bearing caps okay so we'll go ahead and use a size 17 socket half inch tie with a with our torque wrench and we'll go turn it until it clicks at 75 65 newton meters on the main bearing caps okay we'll go ahead and Talk them all, as you can see. Talking up nicely. Right, let's double check. I normally count two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All nicely torqued. So 17 socket. Okay, 65 newton meters on the torque wrench. So now we'll see. We gotta make sure that our engine turns over nicely. So I put the I put the crankshaft bolt in so long. So that we can just turn the crank, make sure that it's nice and smooth. It might be a bit tight, as it is. Um, we'll have to loosen up as time goes by, but nice and smooth, you know, the engine is turning nice and smooth. So now we'll go ahead and we're going to have to put in um, our pistons. I'll show you how to do that. Now. So I'll turn the, the journals to the bottom, number one and number two, uh, number one and number four, sorry, because those will be the first two pistons which I fit. Okay, we'll also go ahead and just flip the motor, the engine block around, uh, so that you can get a, a sort of top view. Okay, so we're going to be putting our, so our pistons, our new pistons, into that machine bore. This bore has been machined to 20 thou. Um, so it's not standard anymore. It's 20 thou. And we got some brand new 20 thou pistons with rings. And we're going to put that lovely new pistons into this block. Okay. 
So I'll come back to you on that and show you how to uh, put the rings onto the pistons first of all.